Good morning, happy Monday. So welcome back to my channel and I just thought I would give you a little update on the weekend and where we left off on Friday. Oh, Friday. So let me um, have my tracker open here so I can um, tell you guys how my Friday went. What is today? Friday? was the 5th, 9th, 9th, yes. Okay, so Friday. <laughs> About how almost 11 I think it was right at 11 my husband called me at work which I should have thought was really weird to begin with because you know he would have called my cell phone or texted me or something um, but he knows that my cell phone is normally in my purse when I'm at work and I don't just have it right there on my desk so a lot of times you know I'm just checking it throughout the day to see if he's text texted me or whatnot and you know so for the most part he knows that I wouldn't have it so I should have known when he called my desk phone that something was up so, um, my oldest son who is out of school, he, um, he had came out to check on the dogs a little bit before 10, I mean a little bit before 11 and, um, he saw like the chihuahua was just kind of laying there and he wasn't getting up and he normally is such an active dog and when, especially when you come into the room, he just jumps up and starts, you know, wiggling and wag, tail wagging and all this stuff and he just lay in there. And he had seen that he had um, peed on himself instead of getting up and, you know, going to a pie pad or asking to go outside or whatnot. So anyway, um, so he kind of tried to get him to walk around and he wouldn't walk. So he called his dad and then he called me. And um, so I thought, well, at least I better just come home and take him to the vet. So I figured it was already 11, um, I would just take some personal time and then my lunch, go do that. So we t I took him to the vet and he just has a, what is kind of equivalent to like if we were to sprain or pull a muscle. He thinks it was either from jumping up onto the sofa or jumping down because I had left at seven, you know, to go to work and he was in his little bed and then he was found on the couch. And normally, I mean, our sofa is not really super tall and our bedroom door was closed so he couldn't have done it in there. Um, but these dogs fly all over the place. I mean, they, they just jump up and down, never have had an issue. Um, it's especially him. He's very, um, springy as <laughs> he's a chihuahua with very long legs. He's not like one of the short legged ones he is very, he's very long and lean. So he can jump up onto something like no other. So anyway, um, so my plan for lunch, so we, anyway, so we went there and they gave us, you know, he gave me some medicine, um, some like pain, like anti-inflammatory is what it was. Um, so I gave him that and then he was just supposed to stay as immobile as he can, which, yeah, not going to happen. But anyway, so I got back to work about 1.30 and it wouldn't have taken that long except for I live you know, I don't live in town, so it was the drive here, the drive and back into town to go to the vet, then the drive back here. So that's really what took the longest was the drive time for sure because I got to the vet at just right at 12. Um, by the time I got here, kind of checked him out. I went back. It was a little bit before 12, and um, we were out of there by like 1, almost a little bit before 1. So definitely um, it was mostly drive time. So my plan for lunch had been Subway plus a bunch of errands to do. So I got none of that done and I had a yogurt and a cheese stick that I brought for snacks. So I thought I'll just eat that for lunch because it was already 1.30 and I just, you know, didn't even want to have to deal with it. Didn't want to have to go, go somewhere and then go back to work because I was already, you know, I just didn't, I had a lot of stuff going on at work. And so the plan for dinner had been, um, I was going to get one of the Southwest chicken salads for McDonald's and didn't use my own dressing but of course by the time and then I had to go pick up myself oh, I forgot at three o'clock I had to go pick up my son from school because he had to go to his bank and do a couple of things and I had to go with him because I was on his bank account before he turned 18 but now that he's 18 they were going to take me out of the account and I have to sign for it and all that stuff so I just wanted to pick him up at three brought him back to my work and then after we, I get off at 4 30 so we we're going to run to the bank after that so just a very hectic day so when I time I got to McDonald's, I was starving. So I got, still didn't get the salad, but I also got french fries. Um, so Friday ended up being a 24-point um, day, which was no big deal, but it was just so like 
off. I was so off. And I, I just think it just threw me. I don't know what it was. And then again, I do my usual, like I got up, I was, I it started my day out Saturday wonderful. I ate some avocado egg toast. I, um, you know, drank my coffee. I did get a Starbucks, which I do every Saturday, but I get the skinny vanilla latte. So that's four points. So I did everything right. We didn't go to Costco, so I didn't have to worry about any of the samples or anything. Then I came home and I just did a lot of, um, I did my grocery haul, then I cleaned out my freezer, um, I cleaned out my refrigerator, I mean I did a lot, I did oh my gosh, so much laundry, and next thing I knew it was like 4 o'clock and I hadn't eaten anything since that avocado egg toast, so I thought I'll just make myself a little sandwich and I thought well I have the points so I'm just going to use more higher point bread because I didn't have any like thin sliced bread or anything. So I had some of the Franz whole wheat bread that my son uses for his sandwiches. So. I'll just have two pieces of that because, you know, I have the points and that's like six points just for that. So I had that and then I had some of my favorite, all oh, that pepper, turkey, lunch meat is so good, you guys. So I had that with just a little bit of light mayo because um, that, that just, just was like, I don't know, I'm just making myself like crazy by not eating at regular. This is why I have to eat at regular intervals because otherwise I just eat way too much at one meal because I'm so hungry and I'm picking things I normally wouldn't pick. Now the light mayo is only one point, so no big deal. And then I wanted something crunchy with it, so I had some pop chips. While I was out in the garage grabbing the pop chips, which are only three points, there was some crackers sitting there, some of those Austin peanut butter crackers, which those are only four points for a package, which is, you know, great, no big deal. Um, so lunch ended up being like 15 points. Oh, it was so irritating. I irritated myself because I just kept eating and eating and eating and eating. It was just ridiculous. And then, um, for snacks, I decided to eat a whole pint of, it's like Kroger's the equivalent to like Halo Top or, or Enlightened. It's like their low cow, low cow is what it's called, low cow light ice cream. And I, my intention was just to eat a cup and I ate the entire thing for 10 points. It was just a terrible, like, it was just a nonstop. And I know it was just because I did not stay consistent with my um, eating throughout the day. And so I ended up with 36 points on Saturday. So I used a huge chunk of my weeklies. And then yesterday, I got up and I just had a piece of toast with, um, you know, I had two pieces of toast with yogurt. I've just been craving carbs like crazy. And then, um, again, just got busy. I was doing meal prep. Um, then I was editing and um, finishing folding laundry. And my son was making some nachos. And I found myself just eating chips and salsa. And so I ended up eating like 13 of the Juanita's chips, which is not even the good chips. I mean, like the good point chips. So that was five points. So I just count that as my lunch. And then fast forward to dinner time. So my plan for dinner was to make um, the potato green bean chicken thing for myself and then something else for the family. And my husband's like, I really want pizza. And I'm like, I can't have pizza. And he's like, okay. And then, but I, he was like, but I, he goes, so can, is there something else you can make for yourself? And I'm like, okay, see, sometimes I feel like he just doesn't get it. But then I understand it's my problem. It's my issue, not his. I don't want to change his life. Plus, I need to be able to live in these real world situations. So I ordered Domino's for them. And you guys, it was fine. I was fine. I, while I ordered that, I put my stuff in the oven. I just, I can't explain that feeling when the pizza came in here. It made me mad. <laughs> and it made me mad because... I was making myself feel so bad about it and you know and then I made my husband feel bad and I told him I said it's not your problem it's my problem I'm mad at myself I'm not mad at you I'm mad at myself that I can't even like smell pizza and sure I could have had some but the thing is I really didn't want it I mean I really believe in if you are craving something like I did all weekend I mean all weekend I was craving real bread so I ate real bread it cost me a lot of points but I did it and um, so I really feel like if you were craving something, you should have it. So I really wasn't craving the pizza. It was just the fact that I couldn't have it, I think is what it was. I don't know. I know you guys understand. So um, anyway, I ended up having some an apple with some peanut butter, real peanut butter, not PB2. So that was like five points. And then I ended up eating a kind bar. And then I didn't even want my dinner by the time I got done. So I ended up putting it into a um, 
putting in the refrigerator and I'll just eat it this week as leftovers or something one day. So I ended up using 25 points yesterday. So I still got a blue dot. So Saturday is the only day I didn't get a blue dot. So I have 19 weeklies going into this week. Um, I don't, I don't know. The weekends are hard for me all. It's, it's really hard for me. And it's not hard because I am like eating a lot. I like eating like a lot of bad stuff. So I'm not staying consistent. So then I end up do eating a lot. I don't know. But I mean, I told you guys everything has, so I'm sure you guys get what I'm saying. So it's just a weird weekend. And I think it's just because Friday kind of started it off just, just kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it, but I mean, I'm, I'm in good spirits today. I feel good. I, you know, got up, did my workout. I um, drank my water. I'm drinking my first cup of coffee. Um, one point, by the way. Um, I'm, you know, I'm feeling good about my plan for the week. I just wanted to let you guys know. I mean, I, I want to be real with you all. And I, you guys know that. And I just want to let you know that you're not alone if you have these kind of weekends or you just find yourself getting mad because you can't have food even though you don't want it. I mean, and like I said, I don't want to say can't have it because that's the beauty of Weight Watchers. We can have it. I had 19 weeklies left over plus pretty much a lot of my dailies. So it's not like I couldn't have a piece of pizza, but I really didn't want it. But anyway, it's just such a mind game still. It's just frustrating. So anyway, that was my weekend. Um, again, I feel fine. I mean, I'm not trying to be negative or anything. I'm just trying to be real with you and let you guys know how it went. Um, but I feel good going into this week. I have a good plan, good solid plan. I'm really excited about my lunches this week. Um, if you didn't see my meal prep, it will be linked down below. I'm really enjoying doing my meal preps that way. Um, I have to go, so I can't talk much longer. So I, um, but let me know if you guys are enjoying the meal preps. It's actually been pretty good doing them that way instead of having to stop and start. I'm just coming back to you guys as I'm doing the process. So I'm just not including the chopping in because that's the part that actually takes the longest is setting up to where you guys can see the chopping and then having to move my thing out of the way and you know, my tripod out of the way. I mean, that's this, the way I've been doing it the last two weeks has act is actually easier because I'm just showing you guys kind of the process and then leaving and then coming back when it's all done. So if you guys are enjoying that, even though they're coming out a little bit longer, please let me know. And I better go because I gotta go make some breakfast and get my son up and get this week started. Happy Monday, y'all. Okay, so for breakfast today, I'm having kind of a little Southwest egg scramble. So I have two eggs. I added some black beans, um, some pico de gallo, and some fat-free cheese, and then also some onion. So this whole section over here is um, actually zero smart points. I just realized that. And then this is a half of a grapefruit that I put some Truvia on, and also one teaspoon of unsweetened coconut, and then put it into the broiler under the broiler. Anyway, so this is zero smart points. So I guess I have a zero smart point breakfast. I actually didn't even plan that or think about it. And then I have my coffee, which has um, two tablespoons of fat-free half and half in it. So that's one smart point. So breakfast actually is this one smart point with my coffee. Okay, for lunch today, I'm going to take this meal prep with me to work. So this is the chicken Philly steak bowl. I kind of made it up. I found a recipe for chicken Philly steaks um, like on a bun and I just put it into a bowl. So down here if you saw my meal prep you saw exactly how i made this so i will have my meal prep video linked down below but i have a mixture of brown rice and cauliflower rice down there in the bottom and that that and the cheese are the only thing that has points so this whole bowl is five points three points for the brown rice and then two points for the cheese i cannot find the sargento thin sliced provolone cheese in my town actually any of the thin sliced cheeses it is so crazy that i cannot find them anyway so this is just a regular slice of the provolone cheese which is two smart points and then i have the philly steak mixture in there so this will be five smart points for lunch then for my morning snack i plan on having two rice cakes which will be two smart points these are just the lightly salted then i have a zero point chicken salad that i made in meal prep again i showed that in meal prep video yesterday so it's just um, shredded chicken, Greek yogurt. I have bell pepper, red onion, green onion, and then just some seasonings in there, and also some spicy brown mustard. So this will be my morning snack, which I usually have around 10 o'clock or so. And after lunch, so I have lunch at noon, so usually around 2.30, 3 o'clock or so, I start wanting something else. So then I will just have my carrots, and then this is some roasted red pepper hummus. So this is two smart points. 
And then for my snack that I have on my way home from work, because I tend to snack when I'm making dinner, so to stop that I tend to, I try to have a little bit of a snack on my way home. So I'll peel these oranges. These are like the smallest little halos ever. So I'll peel those and so I can eat those on my way home and then I have a cheese stick. So I do try, if you notice with my snacks, I try to have a protein source with all my snacks. That's what's been really helping me. That's why I've been failing at the weekends. <laughs> so anyway, this is a one point cheese stick. Okay guys, I am getting ready to make dinner. So I'm going to make BLT ranch wraps. So I'll be using one of these for one smart point. These are multi-grain, 60 calorie tomorrows and then I'll be making a ranch dip out of Greek yogurt and my um, ranch seasons that I will try to find the recipe video that I did it was a meal prep I believe so I'll try to find that if not it's just based it's just a bunch of seasonings that to me make it taste like ranch so I will try to find um, the video I did that or at least try to list the seasonings down below just put that in some non-fat Greek yogurt I'm going to spread that on here and then I am cooking up some turkey bacon. This is the turkey bacon I use, one smart point a piece. So I will be cooking this up in the air fryer. So I'll have some of this, I'll just chop it up. Lettuce, tomato, ranch dip. And then I have some sweet potatoes I chopped up and I will put, be putting these in the air fryer as well. So it'll be one point for this. I'm gonna use two slices of this, so two points for this. And then the um, sweet potatoes will be three points because I'm gonna have three ounces. So that will be dinner and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. And here is the finished wrap. So I will have the points here on the screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.